I know you guys appreciate very much the commander testings and reviews when I try to analyze the reasons why you should or you should not invest in certain commanders. As you know, until a few days ago we had four generations of cavalry commanders. The first with Minamoto and Cao Cao, the second with Saladin and Genghis Khan, the third with Attila and Takeda, and the fourth with William and Chandragupta. Now we have a fifth generation of cavalry commanders with Zhang Yu and Yadviga. And as you probably imagine, I was immediately drowned in messages asking me to test those two new commanders. A few days ago, I was on livestream and we tested the new cavalry and garrison commander, Yadviga. In this video, I will recap the results of those testings and speak about the best possible usage and pairings for her and my first impressions as well. Disclaimer, this is not a commander review. When I will collect more info about her, I will be surely doing a commander guide, as many players want to know if to invest on her or not. But first, please consider subscribing, you support the channel for free, and you can always change your mind another day. Let's go! Hello everyone and welcome back to Wig Gaming. Jadwiga of Poland, also known as Hedwig, crowned the first female monarch of Poland at the age of 11. I thought you might want to know why she looks so young, because she was actually a queen at the age of 11. But let's begin from the talent trees. Jadwiga is a cavalry, garrison and mobility commander, a combination that we have never seen before. We have infantry garrison commanders, archer garrison commanders, leadership garrison commanders, but this is the first legendary cavalry garrison in the entire game. Of course we have Pelagius in the epic tier, but he's not really suited for the job, I guess. So let's get into this and speak about her and the first round of KVK testings that we have conducted. The aspect that makes her so interesting is the high skill damage reduction that she can get among the talents and the skills. In the cavalry tree, we have Emblazoned Shield, which reduces the skill damage taken by 12%. In the garrison tree, we have Impregnable, which reduces the skill damage taken by another 15%. Her third skill, Holy Blessing, reduces the skill damage taken by 10%, while her expertise skill grants another 10% skill damage reduction for 4 seconds whenever the active skill is used. As from our testings she has an average skill cycle of 8 seconds, that means that half of the time she has this bonus active. I know this might seem like an approximation, but to simplify things, we are gonna say that the expertise skill grants her another extra 5% permanent skill damage reduction. Summing everything up, we get 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 15, for a total of 40% skill damage reduction, which is a lot, especially if you're handling a big swarm on a structure. Mobility tree is not really a thing, but I understand the choice of not having a skill or support tree there, because those talent trees would have given her the possibility to have another extra skill damage reduction, especially in the case of the support tree, which would have been devastating on Yadviga. But that's not the case, so let's move on. The best combo that, as a first impression, comes to my mind is Yadviga plus Saladin, which I suspect, and I will confirm this as soon as I can, will be a combo that can totally destroy the Archer Rally. So she can say bye bye to Ramses and Nebu, Nebu and YSG, Cyrus and Nebu, Edward and Nebu, etc. I am quite confident that no one of those will work against Yadviga. On a pairing standpoint, it's worth trying out Yadviga and Saladin, also Yadviga and YSS, Yadviga and Theodora, and Yadviga and Vuzetian. On my livestream, we tested Yadviga and YSS for the simple reason that YSS expertise skill really enjoys having multiple troop types on board. And since we were in KVK and therefore losing real troops, we thought of scheduling a nice siege day and suicide all of our siege units. In the garrison we had about 65% cavalry, 25% siege and 10% other troops, while the ralliers have used different combos against us. Everything was well reinforced, both from our side and from their side, because this was an arranged fight and nobody 
nobody had to contest the field. The first rally hitting was an Attila Takeda. As you can see from the report, Attila and Takeda lost soundly. Even if I have to say that even though both the parties were using the same support skills and were max technology, our garrison had better equipment because it was not heavily stacked up on attack, like in the case of the opposing side. Defense and health are really important, especially in the KVK where you have attack everywhere, crystal technology, support skills, holy sites, etc. If you want to know more about the topic of the equipment on cavalry, you can check out my dedicated video card up on the top. But at the same time, you need to consider that they rallied with tier 4 and tier 5 cavalry, so a legit cavalry rally, while we were defending with quite a lot of crap. Second attempt, same garrison combo against Ramses and Nebuchadnezzar, and as expected, the rally lost badly. Full tier 4, tier 5 archers against about the same distribution of troops on our side, with Siege being a considerable slice of the cake. Third attempt, the new conquering cavalry commander, Zhang Yu, paired with the previous generation cavalry commander, William I, against the same Yadviga and YSS. In this case as well, the rally lost. Fourth attempt, Cyrus and Nebuchadnezzar, they lost again. Even if at the end one player by mistake were enforced with siege units, but the rally was cancelled shortly after, so the impact of this mistake was not that strong. If you want to see something fun as bonus, you can take a look at those Trajan and Edelflaed and Trajan and YSS reports, where we pumped the rally up with all the siege units we had in the biggest siege fight that Rise of Kingdoms has probably ever seen. Why this? Well, we did not fight much this KVK and we asked players to suicide their siege units so to drop our power for the future migration and at the same time trying to get closer to complete the Crusader achievements for the final KVK rewards. If you want to see more about this crazy afternoon, just check out my past livestream. In conclusion, is yet Viga worth investing? As I said in the beginning, this is not yet a commander review or guide video, but I have to say, this is a hell of a first impression. Personally, I think she can be absolutely part of the metagame against archers. I mean, poor archers. Between Zenobia YSS and probably Yadviga and Saladin or YSS, they will not find a place to shine anymore. On my next videos I will have something really special for you, so make sure to slap a like on the video, subscribe and activate the notification bell not to miss out to the content to come. Also, leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want me to make a global video reviewing all the garrison and rallying combo and rank them basing on strengths and weaknesses. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!